this and do that. And uh, we don't think of it as something that, I mean, how many of you have ever gone down to the motor vehicle department, and got one of their rules manuals, went home and cuddled up on a winter night with some hot chocolate, and began just to meditate on the laws of our land and said, oh, how I love thy motor vehicle law. <laughs> Not many people have done that. And, uh, and we, so we have a hard time understanding why Israel would enjoy the law so much and why King David would say, oh, how I love thy law. Well, we're going to find out here the reason for the law. There is an absolute reason that Israel is going to receive a law. And uh, the more sin, the more law. And the, the reason that the law is given is to help Israel hit the mark. Remember that they have just come out of 400 years of bondage and the Egyptian gods are still embedded in their hearts, as we're going to see in the reading today in chapter 32 with the, with the golden calf incident. And so God has a lot of work to do in these people's lives. And I would venture to say he has a lot to do in my life. He has a lot, there's a lot of the world in my heart. There's a lot of the world's thinking in my heart that the Lord is constantly trying to extract from me and replace with his way of thinking. He says that my ways are above your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. And so what we want to do is we want to think God's way, we want to walk God's way, and that's going to take some boot camp. That's going to take some training. Now the word for law in Hebrew is the word Torah. It's the word Torah. And the word Torah comes from a root word. Now the word Torah, I'll give you that root word in a moment, but the word Torah uh, can mean the five books of Moses, the first five books of Moses. It can also mean the entire, uh, the entire Old Testament or the Hebrew scriptures called the Tanakh, Tanakh, which is an acronym for the, the Torah, the law, the Nevi'im, the prophets, and the Ketuvim, the writings, the three sections of the Old Testament. Or it can also mean to the Jewish people not only the written word, but all of the tradition, the Talmud also, can all be encompassed by this word Torah. And the word Torah comes from a root word, Yara. Yara, which is an interesting word because it is the word uh, that an archer would use, an archer's term meaning to hit the bullseye, to hit the mark. And so the, the idea of the law is to help Israel hit the mark, to walk as they were created to walk, to keep them focused, and also to break them of the idols of the world and the gods of the world, the false gods. That's the purpose of the, of the law. The Hebrew word for sin is the word chet. You can spell it C-H-E-T, chet, and that is the idea of missing the mark missing the mark. And like, for example, years ago during NASA, when they had these space capsules falling into the ocean, and if they missed the mark, the Israeli newspaper would read that they had sinned, that they had sinned, that they had missed the mark. And so sin misses the mark. The law is to guide you to hit the mark. And the first thing that the Lord does before he makes a covenant with Israel is he gives them some terms to the covenant. And the first part is chapter 20 of Exodus, which is the Ten Commandments, or more properly, the Ten Words, the Ten Words. And uh, so we're going to start with chapter 20 here. He's going to give them the Ten Words, the Ten Commandments, which is part of the, the law that will stay even in the New Testament, whereas ceremonial law, often, uh, a lot of it is, is, is dropped off, the ceremonial law with the coming of Christ. But this law will remain forever. And this is uh, binding, and it's also the greatest source of, of checking your heart before you go to confession to see if you are in grave sin. If there's something seriously wrong in your life, I always suggest that you take Exodus 20 or Deuteronomy 5, which also has the commandments in it and comes a little bit later. Take that with you and meditate on this. Now, before we get to chapter 20, Chapters 21, 22, and 23 make up what is called the Book of the Covenant, the Book of the Covenant. And uh, that, will, that combined with chapter 20 will be sort of the terms of the covenant that God is going to make with Israel as a nation. 
But let's look at those 10 words. For